Stacked is launching an online store where you'll be able to find a curated collection of both home and decor brands. Visit stackedhomes.com slash store and join our mailing list for exclusive updates. I grew up in Amokyo my whole life. It's really familiar for me. It's such a mature estate. There's a lot of amenities. It's a very convenient estate. Hi, my name is Joy and I'm a civil servant. Hi, I'm Cheyenne. I'm a cinematographer. We've been here for about three years. It's 1,003 square feet and it's a resale flat. We spent about 100k, not including furniture and appliances. The layout was a bit typical of uh, the usual HDB. There's a lot of space wastage, we feel. That's why when we renovated, we rejigged the whole layout of the house. It was what you think of a, a flat from the 90s. Marble floors, very wide, a lot of like built-in cupboards, a lot of like woodwork, very monotone colour. Inspiration-wise, it was a lot of South American designers. It was a very sudden discovery on Pinterest. You look around the house, there's a lot of curvature, especially the walls, and also inspired our choice of furnishing as well. Because it was a common corridor, we wanted a bit of privacy, but we still wanted to keep our doors open because the crosswind is really good here. So our IDs created a cove, and there was a pebble wash all through the cove. We have a lot of pockets of communal spaces. The intention was to have everyone connected while we have gatherings and all that, but yet still allow for little conversations. How we chose the material for the flooring is based on the space usage. For the public zones, we use a cement screen. And for the more private area, we actually use a vinyl. We did tell our ID that we also wanted to create a space in a space. We have this accordion door that sort of separates the private and the public space. When we extend this door out, it makes the space a bit smaller, a bit cosier. We got this ledge because it kind of like reminds you of those cafes where you can just sit by the window and watch the outside world. Since we have an unblocked view, it's quite cool to have a chill-out area. In our kitchen, we have a 5 meters long island. Half of it is for dining and half of it is for cooking. From the living space, we can actually look straight into the kitchen and you can sort of see what's happening because a lot of other homes, the kitchen is quite a separate space. We wanted an open concept kitchen and we wanted a space where we could have people together and just eat around and sit around together. That extended from the kitchen into a smaller dining area with the cement bench at the side. The green-blue cladding is actually stained wood and it sort of envelopes our private space away from the public space. Because behind all of that is our master bedroom. We have doors diagonal to the space, so that one opens into the living area and one opens straight into the kitchen area. So initially, each of the rooms only had one door, but because of the sheer size of the space, I think Open Studio thought that for user experience, to minimize having to walk around the space so much so we can sort of like slip in and out of different spaces into the next. Before COVID, I was the one that used to study a lot. I always call it like my command centre. So the desk smack in the centre of the room. We have this circular shelving on the wall. So when you look at the person sitting at the chair from the front, it looks like there's a rising sun behind you. Most common toilets go, um, the layout is pretty standard. So I've always liked having smaller tiles and I chanced upon the idea of having coloured grouting. That's why you see the sort of like terracotta grouting and the terracotta pinkish tiles that, that house our sink. Our master bedroom is made out of uh, two rooms. So we hacked down the walls and we kind of like reshaped the master bedroom a little bit. 
and now we have a walk-in wardrobe. We also have a lot more real estate to put our stuff on. We didn't want a situation where we had to rush for the sink usage. The idea of having a dual sink vanity came about. And since we have more space in the room and not so much space in the bathroom, so we thought of like bringing it out into the room. There was a unique tile that we used, which were the blue tiles. It's a mixture of oval shapes and star-shaped slivers that create a feature wall. And the blue also is in line with the running theme of the green-blue that you can see in the house as well. After staying for three years, like we have no complaints. You know, it's really very intuitive and it's almost like we have been here before. Thanks for staying till the end. Now, if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.